Hey guys, welcome back to Allie and Coco Science Show. Um, I made a really cool video. I found a cool moth. We were listening to toads. We, it was all about not. It's all about no bark. All about nocturnal animals. So we went on a night hike, um, just through the neighborhood. I talked to you guys about how cool it is to see animals at different times of the day and to go hiking with a buddy. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Stop. Hold on. Sorry, my neighbors are outside and Colette doesn't like people being at their own home. Anyway, so I made this cool recording and then I found out none of the audio made it. And I've been trying, I meant to post this video on Sunday, but I've been waiting and trying to find out if I could get the audio back in. I can't. So instead, I'm gonna keep the same video. No frogs though, so, um, yeah. But, uh, I will keep most of the same video and do some just voice over commentary of things I might have said. I don't remember, what are you doing? Do you want another treat? Can you sit up? Coco, sit. There we go. So, you are gonna get this video a little bit late, and I'm sorry, but things happen, so enjoy. All right, guys, so this is me, and Colette is sitting here with me. She's adorable. Oh, okay, Colette. Anyway, so I saw this is a giant leopard moth. They're the biggest of all the leopard moths. Giant, you know. Uh, and they are, their scientific name is Hypercompe scribonia. So they're kind of like the most beautiful moth I've ever seen. And you can tell why they got the name leopard moth because they have that, oh no, oh no, oh no. I probably made that same noise when I, when he just walked off. Um, so they have their white bodies with the black circles and they all have a different pattern and they're amazing. And those black circles are a little bit iridescent so they're kind of shiny, kind of cool. Now the adults are nocturnal and I saw this guy. Luckily I wasn't looking down at my phone so word to the wise, always be looking where you're watching, walking. Because <laughs> this guy was walking along the ground and I saw him in the moonlight. Pretty spooky so I picked him up and decided to check him out because he's a, a beauty now I do know this is a male because the males tend to have a wingspan of about three inches and the females are about uh, less than an inch and a half so the males are about twice the size so this is a dude I don't know if you remember my last moth video I'll put a link oh oh Colette do you want to say hi to the moth friends say hello Colette <laughs> Hi Coco. Anyway, so um, I talked about how moths have scales on their wings. So uh, these guys have that scale, those scales, and um, yeah, they're just shiny and beautiful and around at nighttime. So they are nocturnal. And what else do I know about these moths besides their beauty? I do know that uh, the caterpillars are those crazy black ones. They look like they have a lot of black hair just coming all over their body. Some people call them woolly bears. Those hairs are, they do kind of protect them. So if you were to accidentally hit those hairs, you might get kind of a sting or a burn. So uh, those fuzzy, I'll put a picture real quick right now. Those fuzzy black caterpillars are uh, turn into these beautiful white moths so they are kind of amazing gotta say probably one of the coolest finds I've ever seen at night um yeah I love this guy we'll call him Hubert oh Colette wants to meet Hubert oh no Hubert so yeah guys I'm just hanging with Hubert and um decided Colette needed to meet him and I am going to put him down here in the grass because he doesn't eat grass, but he eats a whole lot of stuff. So these guys, are, they're what you call generalists. And a generalist is something that they don't eat 
a single specific food or they don't have to live in a single specific area. These guys are found all over North America eating all different types of plants. Um, so I just, I don't know. I think this is one of the, one of the most beautiful moths I've ever hung out with. Besides that one from my other moth video. But this guy is pretty cute. Now, I keep trying to film that iridescence and uh, dropping him. Colette, save Hubert, please. Colette. Um, that's okay. I, I think she heard something. I don't quite remember because that audio, that audio, yo. So here we've got Hubert. He's just chilling. I don't know if he got stepped on or what, but he, I don't know if he can fly right now. Now, if you, you kind of got a peek at his underwing area, and if you didn't, just rewind the video real quick. That underwing area is kind of like a teal, bluish color. So it's actually, it's, look at that, that orange and blue going on. He is the most beautiful moth. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, so I just love the striking difference between that bright white body, those iridescent black spots, and that shiny teal orange combination for his abdomen area. Oh, I'm sorry, what a beauty. Colette, look at this beauty. Colette, just look at this beauty. Look at, oh no. Oh my golly goodness. Colette. She's actually, she's, oh, Colette just, hey, you can't just put your hand on the computer. Okay guys, so. Sorry about that. Colette just wanted to take the reins and so like I said I'm gonna put him down on the grass because I just want him to go on and enjoy his evening. Who knows what he was doing before I picked him up and me and Colette are gonna continue our walk. Are you ready to go? Oh yeah let's go. Let's go for a walk. Oh I said it in real life. She thinks we're going now. I'm sorry. Anyway, so this was me and Colette. She likes to pull on the leash. Got those creepy glowing eyes. She's so cute. Uh, demon dog. Okay, so now we see these two glowing eyes in the middle of the night, and that is a white-tailed deer. Here in the hill country of Texas, we have a ton of white-tailed deer. So if you don't know what white-tailed deer is, think Bambi. Bambi is a white-tailed deer, and Colette sometimes jumps after them, especially little little babies, but um, the white-tailed deer is, his scientific name is Otocoileus virginianus, so um, they, again, they're all over the hill country, and especially at night, they like to just kind of chill in your front yard and munch on your grass or other plants. Uh, there are some plants, though, that white-tailed deer don't like, so if you do want one of those plants to stay alive, I would recommend, Colette, you can't just bounce a ball in here. I'm trying, I'm tr anyway, white-tailed deer. So they are all around at night, and I'm trying to not hit my head on a branch, but you know, nighttime. I was too busy looking at the deer. So I saw maybe one just then. However, sometimes I've seen groups as big as like 15 in somebody's front yard at nighttime or right in the morning. Hey Colette, how's it going? You adorable little bean. Anyway, so that was the white-tailed deer. So I saw two amazing animals tonight on my adventure. I saw the giant leopard moth and the white-tailed deer. So if you guys ever want to go out and find cool nocturnal animals, go do it. It's so much fun. Go with a buddy. Be safe. I love you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, just to kind of recap, it's really fun to go on night walks because you see things you don't normally see. But if you do go on a night hawk, make sure you go with a buddy because anything can happen at night and we want to make sure we're all safe. Right, Colette? Yeah. So, question of the week. What do you think, Colette? really good so have you ever been for a night walk and if you have what's the coolest thing you've ever seen so night walk could either be in your neighborhood or when you went camping the coolest things I've ever seen I saw raccoons crossing the street this weekend 
and in my neighborhood. And one time I was hiking and I heard a pack of coyotes howling. That's your brethren. Do you want to go join them? You want to go see the coyotes? You wouldn't last more than an hour with them. So, Colette, what's the coolest thing you've ever seen at night? You love kitties. You love the kitty cats, don't you? Do you like chasing cats? Yeah. So, don't forget to comment down below what is the coolest thing you've ever seen on a night walk or a night hike. I would love to know your responses. We do have a Facebook page and a Twitter. I'll leave the links down below in the in the in the bar down there. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to us, guys. Come join us on all of our fun adventures. We'd love to hang out with you. And I love to see all your comments and talk back to you. And you are the queen of talking back. I know. And let's see. So go ahead and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so that anytime I post a video, and I try and post one every week or sometimes twice a week, uh, you'll see it. Hey, my pillow. And uh, subscribe, comment, and if you learned something new today, go ahead and give this video. Colette, what are they going to give the video? A thumbs up, Colette. She found her ball. So, subscribe, comment, and give this video a thumbs up, and we will catch you next weekend. Bye!